G'day there guys, Marky here, and welcome back to another episode of r slash relationship advice. With that said, I want you to sit back, relax, chuck a prawn to the barbie, and let's get right into it. Posted by user Throwaway Akint Melt, titled, My 19 year old sister is getting married to her high school teacher. My younger sister is getting married to her 36 year old high school teacher in a few days, and everyone seems okay with it. She graduated a year ago, and they told us they were dating, almost immediately after the graduation. I was shocked and angry, but everyone around me was happy and supportive of them. The teacher divorced his wife two years ago and started paying attention to my sister. He spoke to her after class regularly and paid special attention to her studies. I thought this was weird and talked to my sister about this, but she told me he was helping her because she was the best student of her class, which she was. A few months ago, only a few months into dating, they announced that they were engaged. I tried to talk to my parents about their age difference and stuff, but they didn't want to hear it. I talked to my sister and she told me she's happy and that she loves him. We live in a small town with a tight-knit community and everyone else is supporting their marriage. I'm feeling useless right now and I am angry at myself. I was unable to protect my sister. I feel like I failed my duties as an older sibling. I hate everyone around me. How do they not see what's going on here? In the comments, my cousin did this. She was a sophomore in college and her professor divorced his wife and married her, and of course immediately impregnated her. 10 years or so later, he left her and married another student of about 20. As a side note, the guy looked just like Meatloaf. Eh, two out of three ain't bad. Just be sure to be there for her in 10 to 15 years when he decides that she's too old for him. Or until he finds another best student. He's helping her because she's the best student in the class? What? Shouldn't he be helping the students who are doing the worst in his class? You can't forbid it, but you can voice your concern, which you've done. You haven't failed. You can't control people. You have to decide if you can support your sister's choices. Whether that relationship succeeds or fails, you can support her. The guy should be called out for grooming though, no? Exactly. I came here to say this as well. Sounds like he groomed her for a while. Absolutely disgusting. Sounds like Buddy was grooming her so he could lock her down before she can go out in the world and learn who she wants to be and know what she wants from life. Now he gets to use his authoritarian position to make those choices for her. That's not cool. She'll never get to experience dating boys, making her own decisions, renting her own first apartment. That's all gone now. Self-discovery is a huge part of our lives, and he's taking that all away from her so she can be taught like a dog on how to be his pet. I mean wife. You're right. The age difference is disturbing. While legal, there is such a huge mental gap where he could easily take advantage of her. Can I steal your dog says, I am 22 and I call 18 year olds kids myself, Lamau. The mental gap between someone who's just about to start uni and someone like me who graduated college last year is huge. And I still don't think that I'm a proper adult. In a few years I'll definitely be, but whatever. The girl is clearly unlucky and stupid. The stupidity seems to have stemmed from living in her tight-knit community. Quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. And now onto the update. The marriage happened. I contemplated not going to the ceremony, but I didn't want to hurt my little sister, so I went reluctantly. My blood was boiling throughout the whole thing. Everyone who came to the ceremony congratulated them. I couldn't even look the teacher in the face because I was so angry at him. I hated the whole thing. I'm leaving this town tomorrow. I had some interviews lined up and got selected in one. It's in a city and I'm moving tomorrow. I can't stand these people. My parents think that getting married to a good guy with a stable job is the best thing that could have happened to my sister and my relatives agreed. He groomed her. Why doesn't anyone else see that? I wanted to scream at everyone. When I told my sis that I was leaving, she cried. I reassured her and told her that I wasn't angry at her. I made it clear to her that she could contact me at any time, under any circumstances, and that I would be there for her. I bought her a phone and told her that I'd talk to her regularly. I tried not to antagonize anyone because I want them to reach out to me if anything happens. It was very hard to do. I came very close to fighting several people. My sister was a star student. 
I always thought that she would go to a big college and become someone significant, but now she's going to be a housewife. That thought is destroying me. I wasn't harsh on her because I'm hoping that she wakes up soon and I want to be there for her when that happens. I want to support her and see her full potential and I'm wishing it happens soon. Edit, I've told her not to have children until she's sure. She has a contraceptive implant and I told her not to get it removed for at least a couple of years. I told her to tell me if anyone ever pressured her to have it removed. I really hope that she follows my advice. Edit 2, I'm just checking the comments and the amount of people defending the teacher is insane. People like you are the problem. She was groomed since she was 16. Why can't you people see that? I wouldn't have any problem with her choices if she wasn't coerced into them. Him being an older man isn't my issue here, him being her teacher is. Also, I don't think that being a housewife is bad, what I don't like is that the choice of something more is being taken away from my sister. As for the phone thing, my parents did not allow my sister to own a phone. She had to use the landline if she wanted to talk to people. That's why I bought her a phone. In the comments, The Unpolitical says, I went to high school where the water polo coach was dating a cheerleader. He got her pregnant and it became a huge scandal at the school. He was also my English teacher and not a good one at that, but I knew that he was a creepy dude as he creeped on all of the girls in the class. He finally got fired. I believe he was about 30 or 32 at the time. About 10 years later, he dumped the cheerleader after impregnating her two more times, found another girl at 18, and was with her for 10 years too. It's been three decades since I graduated high school, and he just dumped girlfriend number three who was 18 when he met her, and he's on 18-year-old girlfriend number four that he met in class. It's super gross, and I can't believe he still teaches high school English. Techie guy James replies, his teacher's license should have been revoked for his first violation of the student-teacher relationship. I have seen this personally. They usually just either say, the girls are 18, he isn't doing anything illegal, or fire him and say, the girls are 18, he isn't doing anything illegal. It happens a lot. As someone who has seen something similar when I was 18, nothing is forever. We don't write off our lives as much as we think, Always be a place of support for your sister and let her see you flourish. My friends dropped out of college for a boy and his horrible, horrible family who thought that women shouldn't be educated and should only be mothers and wives. I have always maintained a connection with her, despite my profound grief, and wouldn't you know it, her life is looking a whole lot different now. Always empower your sister. Use uplifting language when talking about her, keep channels open with the intent of vulnerability and honesty, and don't encourage her to pursue something else. She will see you as the enemy. Mick Foley 13 says, Hey man, it was cool of you not to blow up at the wedding. I would have ground my teeth down to nothing, but you being respectful and keeping an open line of communication with her is big, and I deeply respect you for that. At least she's 19 and has ample time to decide for herself if this marriage with him is right for her. All her friends will be going off into life and for now, all she can do is watch from home. She can still change her mind and leave him. And maybe, just to lighten the mood here, if she does choose to leave him, she gets half of his stuff. That might be a bump up for her if she wants to go back to school and be independent. Mad respect for being a good sibling through all of this. And now, onto the final update. So I wanted to share an update on my sister's situation since it's been a year and the situation has changed significantly in a positive way. Since the marriage a year ago, I've made it a point to talk to my sister regularly on the phone that I gave her. A few weeks in, her husband started pushing her to be in a traditional wife role, which created a wedge between her and her friends, but I made sure to keep in touch and to visit her once every month. Her husband did not like that, but he tolerated it to keep up appearances. To deal with my frustrations, I joined a gym and started working out. Luckily, my boss at my job turned out to be a great lady who listened to me and gave me a lot of support and advice. She told me that I could call her when I needed help and became my mentor and an older sister that I could lean on while also paying me well. Some months into the marriage, her husband managed to domesticate her completely. She stopped going out almost entirely and had very little independence, and he tried to start separating my sister from me. However, because I kept a good and consistent relationship with her, he wasn't able to do it. 
A couple of months ago, he started hinting to my sister about wanting kids, but I kept repeating to my sister that she should not have children until a few years into marriage. Last month, he told her directly that he wanted children, and my sister told him that she wanted to wait. He started pressuring her to get her contraceptive implant removed, so last week I went back home to talk to him. I always try to be polite to him whenever I visit their home, so that he doesn't have any ammo to try to separate us. During conversation, I brought up that he was pressuring my sister to get her contraceptive implant removed. It escalated into an argument, with him saying that he had a right to have children with his wife. When I didn't back down, he got frustrated and took a swing at me, which didn't connect properly. I didn't hesitate in punching him back in his face. He fell backwards and started howling in pain. I wanted to do that since this whole ordeal started, and it was satisfying. I think him hitting me was my sister's wake-up call. He called the cops and told them that I assaulted him. Fortunately, I make sure to record everything whenever I visit their home. I use my Apple Watch for this, and it's a great tool for stealthy audio recording. I called my boss and told her about what happened, and she promised to send a lawyer just in case. When the cops arrived, my sister took my side, which surprised her husband. With me being a woman, and with the recording, the cops also took my side. The lawyer arrived after that, and I told her husband that I was taking my sister with me. He tried to protest, but the lawyer warned him that I would press charges if he stopped my sister from leaving. He reluctantly let her go, and she has been staying with me for the last week. My parents were furious when they found out that my sister had left her husband. They did not seem to care that he hit me, probably because I stopped talking to them. I am still talking to my sister about what she wants to do, and will probably start divorce proceedings in a few days. Her husband and my parents have been trying to call and get her to come back, but I've made sure that she doesn't talk to them without me present. Throughout the whole thing, my boss has been super helpful and has been giving my sister advice about what she could do next. I know that I'm super lucky that my sister managed to wake up so soon and that I've had support from people like my boss. Throughout the whole of last year, I was worried about how my sister was going to end up, but I am elated now. In the comments, Ocean Duciel says, Be careful. The reach abusers can have over their victims extends far. She might change her mind even with your support. Has she considered seeing a therapist or a counselor that specializes in treating victims of grooming? This really should be OP's next step. If her grooming habits kick in and she goes back, she might lose her sister again. I'm glad to see this happy update. Your sister is very lucky to have a sibling like you. Truly is. Can't say for sure that I would be half as amazing and thoughtful as she was, even if I wanted to. This whole affair just makes my blood boil, and I don't even know these people in real life. If it were me in this situation, seeing my little sister fall into a trap, I truly can't affirm that I would have been able to keep my cool for so long. Mad respect for big sister. It might be too late, and I'm not sure how it works in every state, but in WA, even if the student is legally an adult, you can report something like that to the teachers union and they will investigate and he could lose his job. My mom worked for the union's legal department and a relationship that publicly starts a few months after graduation would 100% be investigated. Good idea. And if they do wind up divorcing, there's 100% chance that he will do this to another young girl. There is 100% chance he's already doing it to another girl while he's still married. It's always predators that date teenagers. No one in their 30s and in their right mind would date a teenager. Red flags were flying high from the very beginning, but I guess the only sister was the one with some common sense. The parents are absolutely insane. Just glad that the teenager opened her eyes about her predator old husband. I've always thought this. I'm a 28-year-old woman, and even the thought of dating a guy younger than 25 gives me the ick, so it's absolutely mind-boggling to me that anyone would date someone that much older or younger than them. Our next post is by user AutomaticArt8237, titled, Am I the asshole for having semi-long phone calls with my family while on my honeymoon? Me and my husband, 29 female and 30 male, are on the fifth night of our honeymoon out of state. Last night I got a call from my sister, 21 female who lives with us, that my brother, 23 male, was in an emergency situation. We talked for about 30 minutes as she explained what happened. Some of it did involve cops coming to my home. Tonight, my brother called me asking my advice. 
The situation is very serious and may involve legal implications even though he is innocent. He and I talked for a half hour and my husband decided to try to go to sleep. I admit I should have left the room for the call, but I guess I thought that he was somewhat invested and might want to hear what was going on. He did chime in a few times to also offer advice to my brother. I offered what I could being so far away, and we made a plan for when I get back. After that call, I immediately called my grandma who is in the same town as my brother to see if she could reach out and help him while I'm out of town. I spent 13 minutes giving her the rundown. When I got off the phone with my grandma, my husband was upset. He felt like I should have just had a brief conversation and reminded them that I'm on my honeymoon and to not disturb us. He was also mad that I spent so much time on my phone while he was trying to go to sleep. I would normally agree with him if it was some sort of minor family drama, however, we don't normally have any sort of drama, and this is an extreme situation. We are very close, and I didn't feel it was right to leave my younger siblings trying to figure it out themselves. He and I will discuss it in the morning if it's still bothering him, but I just have to know, am I the asshole for spending time on my phone with my family during our honeymoon? Added to add, my phone call with my brother was to get a plan for when I get back, and my phone call to my grandma was to get him some emotional support while I'm gone. Both phone calls were the purpose of quickly, but compassionately, handling the situation to the best of my current ability so I could bring my focus back to my husband for the remainder of our trip. Realizing now that the purposes of these calls may not have been clear to my husband, so I will discuss with him when he's up in the AM. OP has offered the following explanation for why they think they might be the asshole. 1. I spent 45 minutes on the phone with family while on my honeymoon, and 2. We should be spending our honeymoon just us and not taking phone calls. Yeah, but it's an emergency situation. I don't feel like you should be judged for having to put this fire out in this situation. Like, I more than understand that having a honeymoon, it is about you two and the time that you can spend together without, you know, interaction with friends and family. But if an emergency situation arises that needs your attention, I don't blame you for being on the phone. The only thing I could blame you for is potentially being in there while he's trying to sleep. But it's also odd to me that he was interacting with you and sharing advice, and then as soon as you call grandma, he's pissed off. Like, damn, it was a 17-minute phone call. It's not like it was hours on end. I don't really think your husband is an asshole for doing that. I just don't think he's being particularly compassionate about the situation at hand. I'm gonna go not the asshole for this one, OP. In the comments, Appealed Banana says, No assholes here? I mean, I think it's easy to see both situations here. A family emergency matters, but it is your honeymoon. It is hard, but it's just one of those things where both people are justified. Edit, key piece of info here, I spent 13 minutes giving her the rundown, grandma who is in the same town, it wasn't until my brother called tonight and then I called my grandma that he got upset. Calling family to work things out is one thing, but when patience wears thin and you start spending time relaying information to someone who is there, husband has the right to be upset. Doesn't make you the asshole, but it does mean that his position is understandable. Cat Duck Meow says, Not the asshole, if the phone calls were indeed 45 minutes all up. Have you double checked how long each call was? I get that this is an emergency situation, but if it's something that can wait until you're back, maybe he feels like he won't have priority over others. I would think it's fair to let them know to keep you updated via text, but a gentle reminder that you're on your honeymoon, and once you're back, you will be able to give the situation more time and attention. I see this as maybe your husband is concerned about it evolving into a bigger thing that will take you away from enjoying your honeymoon together, and I would have the same concerns. But at the moment, it's only been just over an hour of phone calls. 30 minutes sister, 30 minutes brother, 13 minutes grandma, so he need not worry. Congratulations, and enjoy your honeymoon. OP replies, This actually probably makes the most sense. He wasn't bothered by my sister's phone call last night, and was equally concerned about my brother at the time. It wasn't until my brother called tonight, and then I called my grandma that he got upset. His frustration was probably coming from just that, the fear of the situation continuing and needing my ongoing attention. However, that is not the case. I provided some emotional support and as much advice as I could for my brother, which is all I can do right now, and made a plan for when I get back. I also called my grandma to get involved so that I don't have to be. 
I think my husband probably didn't see this as me doing what I could to get it sorted as best I could, so that it doesn't continue or escalate during the rest of our honeymoon. And Mother Tradition replies to OP and says, You need to add this to your original post so people understand that you actually did set boundaries. You listened to your brother, but you let him know that he had to wait until you got back for you to help him, and then you called your grandmother to make sure that he has someone to support him while you're gone. You had to find a balance between prioritizing your marriage and supporting your family, and I think you did a great job. And honestly, I think OP did a fantastic job too in this one. But unfortunately, that is where I'm going to leave you guys for today's episode. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please do let me know in the comments down below. See you in the next one. Bye.